Hi, Dr. Paul Hader here. You know, many times we have to overcome what people think and say and do and listen to the God within our heart because God does dwell there in that heart, that loving heart. And no matter how much stuff we have accumulated over that heart, we can find that light and allow ourselves to feel at peace and love everything and everyone. There was a man in Africa and uh, it, he lived in a drought prone area and they started his village and the villages around him they started cutting down the forest and using the wood and uh, planting crops in the area of the forest and eventually the forest disappeared also the crops did, were disappointing they wouldn't grow at all in fact there was nothing but parched cracked red soil and one man one day he said I just feel this in my heart I know something is I can do something about this I mean I can feed my people and so he started digging holes and going to other places and finding little little seedling trees that he would plant and then he would dig more holes and just holes that are about this deep in the in the parched red soil and so that it would collect the rain it wouldn't run off also he would dig holes like that but he had these huge termite mounds that were all over the place and he just had this gut feeling that I need to break down some of these and put some of the termite mound into that hole and that will help. He didn't have any background of science or anything. He was never gone to school. He was just listening to his heart. And in this day and age we we tend to listen to science a lot, but we tend to not listen to our heart a lot. It's been eight years now. This is all about a true story. And now they have a full-blown forest beside them. And he has taught the people to plant on the outer edges of the forest because the rain comes down, the forest holds the water, and then it actually irrigates a little bit of the land around the outside of it too because it holds that water. And so they, so now they have lots and lots of food. They plant sorghum and corn and different things and they are totally self-sufficient. And then the, the people who said he was crazy no longer call him crazy. So we really have to do what we know deep down inside of our heart that God is talking to us about. A lot of times it has nothing to do with anything except the fact that we have this great intuitive ability to understand ourselves, which is the connection to one and only the God inside. And that brings forth the possibility. Oh, later on they found out that, you know, we were collecting water and uh, getting trees growing and there was fungus there inside the uh, termite mounds, but that brought nutrients to the soil and also fungi to the soil which is absolutely necessary but he just had this huge heartfelt feeling a feeling that for some reason I know this is going to work and the more and more that we connect with that heartfelt feeling of love and caring and making a difference like this man did and then going forward even though people were saying he was crazy and he was kind of a lunatic and what the heck are you digging holes out in the middle of the, of the parched dry soil for eventually now they come to him when they have questions he is looked up to because he went forth when nobody else would do anything and 
it all worked out. They have this huge forest. The trees are eight years old. They're 30, 40 feet tall, and it's pretty amazing. So when you go forth, listen to your heart. I think a lot of us have forgotten how to do that. We've forgotten how to listen to God. We've forgotten how to listen to that something pulling on our heart and saying, you know, i got to do this, i got to do this, i got to do this. And a lot of times we go the way of money or we go the way of, mm, I just don't have the time to do this or whatever. But that doesn't lead us down the path that God wants us to go down. And this man made no money out of this whole thing, you know. It had nothing to do with money. It had to do with feeding his people. So, I ask you to listen to God within you, in your heart. And you shall find him there in the stillness, and he will help you. I love you.